welcome back to another Bloxy Showcase video. In this one, we'll address our newest extension, Post Types Extra. This extension will bring a plethora of customization options to your posts with features such as support for custom fields inside the post meta elements, filtering options for your archive pages, category customization options with featured images and colors, and the highly requested feature, Reading Progress. To enable this extension, simply navigate to your WordPress dashboard, Bloxy, Extensions, Pro Extensions, and you'll be able to find it a little bit down on the page. It is named Post Types Extra. First, let's check out the options for the Category Archive Pages. Go to the Category section of your posts and click on Edit for your chosen category. There are two new options available. The first one will let you set the featured image, which will display beautifully when you have the category page title set to Type 2. The second option will let you customize the colors of the category post meta element. In short, it will let you easily differentiate your categories from one another. Let's set some options for our category here, so we will be able to check it out later on the front end. We move on to the Bloxy Customizer to check out the other options. And here we find the reading progress setting under the single posts at the bottom of the pane. A simple checkbox will let you toggle this option to on. Diving deeper into its options, we find the toggle to completely hide the progress bar once you reach the bottom of the article and even device visibility options. As usual, you will be able to find design choices, a feature our customers are already accustomed to. On a side note here, we have also implemented a reading time meta attribute. We will check it out in more detail in the next chapter. Moving on to the custom fields implementation. Here we have integrated support for the advanced custom fields, MetaBox, Jet Engine, and Toolset plugins. Integration with these plugins is super clean and very intuitive. For example, you can assign a custom field to one of your posts, and after this, you are able to display it as a separate layer in the post title section and even the card section of the archives. As we can see, Options for displaying these fields are available in the customizer's post meta layer and even as a separate layer. Also note the new reading time post meta element we've talked about earlier. This is where you'll be able to enable it. Now let's hop over to the archive filtering options. Go to the desired archive section and enable the posts filter element at the bottom of the pane. Digging a bit deeper into these options, we find our usual selection of design options, including two types of displaying them. That's pretty much it when it comes to the options available in our customizer. Head back to the front end and we recap what we have achieved with the new extension. Let's go and have a look first at the filtering options we have enabled. These are great because we are using JavaScript to dynamically load these posts without refreshing the page and breaking your visitor's concentration. Next, we have our support for custom fields inside the meta boxes of the posts. As you can see, they display beautifully in the postcards and even on the post page itself. Since we're on the post page, let's check out the reading progress bar. You'll find that here at the top of the screen. And last but not least, let's check out how our customized category archive page looks. Pretty nifty, right? We hope that our new Post Types Extra extension will finally deliver the customization options our customers have been asking for. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our official support channel at creativethemes.com. Until next time.